One of the last affordable places to live in the South Bay. Now, people living there claim their landlord wants to drive them out. This is all playing out at the Winchester Ranch Mobile Home Park in San Jose. Our Len Ramirez spoke to a woman who is fighting an eviction notice. Well, the land beneath San Jose Mobile Home Parks has become so valuable that it creates an incentive for park owners to convert the mobile homes into other more profitable uses, such as office buildings or high-density apartments. But the question here is, is that also leading to more unfair evictions? Last summer, Karen Carpenter got an eviction notice from the Winchester Ranch Mobile Home Park, where she has lived for six years. The reason? Minor clutter areas, old paint cans, and some weeds. She showed me pictures of the infractions and admits that she was sick last summer and couldn't get outside to work during her first seven day notice. But the infractions were not out front where everyone can see them. They were way out in the back behind a small shed, hardly visible to anyone. I just can't believe that I'm going to be possibly evicted over weeds and old paint cans. Park managers were not available for comment, but Winchester Ranch is in the process of redeveloping into a large apartment complex with nearly 700 units. To Carpenter, her eviction for a relatively minor infraction is not just a coincidence. They are going to be developing the park, and the first phase is right where I'm sitting. She has hired an attorney and is fighting her eviction, but the issue is getting attention at City Hall. Last month, the Housing Commission wrote a memo to the mayor and city council warning of possible preemptive evictions for minor infractions at mobile home parks in San Jose. The memo says there could be attempts to skirt the city's mobile home conversion ordinance, which guarantees mobile home residents get time, monetary compensation, and other benefits if a park converts to another use. We are going to monitor any housing issue that is brought to our attention. Housing officials say they don't have any active cases of abuse at this time. Meantime, Carpenter will have her day in court. If I get evicted and I lose in court, I'll have, I believe it's five days to get off out of my home. She does not have firm plans on where to go if that happens and is afraid of becoming homeless. In San Jose, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5.